Hey guys, Tars22 here. We are back today with another episode of Coffee Talk. Let me... get in the game so I can turn off this music. There we go. Good evening. Good gracious. What's wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it your, is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay, just tell me what you're going to write about. This coffee shop. What? I'm gonna write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking for permission. That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know. Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely based. Where did I put my glasses? Right there. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know. You can... You can't get more different than that. I mean... Like I can't tell you not to write about the coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although, you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. What? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thank you for not banning me, though. Anyway... I'm really excited to see who's gonna come, though. And what kind of stories they'll have. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Frey. And please, Tars, no need to be that formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. You are as stiff as ever. Anyways, I have a shift tonight. So, I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for two. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thank you. Tomodachi profile. Everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Um.
cup of sweet, healthy coffee. So just I hope that's right. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you Gave that old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. Starless night sky for the green-haired fairy. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. <laughs> this is perfect. So how's everything going for the paper, Miss Frey? As usual. Awful. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? Possibly a life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell him. She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going for you, or so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I have seen, and I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least, not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes that thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So, yeah, as Tar said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published, or patent company anyway, by our parent company anyway. So, technically I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed off if she finds out though. Wait. Is stealing time a crime? <laughs> technically, I might have to arrest you. Hey! You do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. Jeez. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by just saying that. You should feel bad. Stop saying. Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that to you. Just don't mention that you like to do other things during working hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Frey. Do you have any ideas what you're going to write? I have, actually. 
Oh, good. What will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. You're letting her do this? There's no stopping. There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write anything about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they actually should inside the coffee shop near here. <laughs> I will definitely write about the police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. What's... Was that a compliment, or are you just making fun of me, eh? I would call it a compliment. It is? Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Tars is probably just worried about losing customers. Did a breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. And I'll dramatize most things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume we've heard a lot of stories from people around here, right? No. Come on. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You helped me once with one of these stories. I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar handing around the block. I'm sure you can give me, give me other interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What? Really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. What stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The busker? The one who's always playing her guitar, always got a rose with her. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an interrogation is... I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave it to him. At least you gave him closure. He never completed, uh, he never complained that you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article you published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, that rose became some kind of a prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area most, more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. But she has been green, his bright green hair. Oh, come on! I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that was pretty deep. Fast. Faster than my career going down. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ah. <sighs> Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Hmm, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through pretty hard times together. You know, different races, different cultures. Families don't approve. When I heard that, their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them, happening to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form cultures time, countless times before. 
but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-worker of... or clients, helping her friend sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Sometimes fo folks require coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Hmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then. See you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Ooh, you're the... You're just the best, Tars. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of... Imagination I go. Go on. Hmm. That should do for the experiment. Ah. Someone's coming. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Hi, Tars. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Hmm. This place you recommended. You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in L.A., but... Gala, it's fine. Er, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yeah. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. So just kind of make him a coffee ginger concoction. Okay. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Here's your order. Good choice. Anyway, how's that town treating you so far? Same old. How surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things change a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a 
bar back then. We opened this coffee shop. We opened around, nest, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. From what I gathered, you're from L.A., right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to... Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume. You could say that. Yeah. I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in 1865. So you guys said you met in the 60s? Were you talking about the 1860s? Heh. <laughs> no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by... We're old by some... Racist standards. But not that old. Although it's... Although it's still fair to say... We haven't seen much of each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. That was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met. Yeah. When it was a bar. They moved. Bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Er... You're happy for the you're happy the bar closed down? Was what's with the smite, if you don't mind me asking? Heh. <laughs> Nothing. I was just wondering with history repeat itself. I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to find my voice for him. It won't close down any time soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite... S it's been quite since you last visited. Busy at work? Kinda. Who's about that newfound virus going viral? The hospital has been extremely crowded. Is that the virus that dangerous? No. No one is sure about that, but most people who come in are just, I don't know, I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job at the same hospital. What was it called? Admin, uh, admissions officer? Officer? Yeah. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. Heh. <laughs> Teach their own. Anyways, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore, they can just order through the Blood Marketplace app. Are you talking about the Bloodlast? Uh 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 huh. Bloodlast get their supply from the hospital. They can't create blood from their own. Only hospitals and the Missionary of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know of the founder of that startup. 
Oh yeah? How's your vegan diet going? It's not easy. But nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking. By going vegan, does that mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? I'd be too complicated to it'd be too complicated to explain. But basically some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Consistency, considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expansive? It is. I can afford it though. But again, they're still working on it. I'm trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Wouldn't synthetic I would synthetic blood taste good if mixed together with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers. And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it with tastes good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although some do try experimenting with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. But I know some mix it with not so legal substances. <laughs> you know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey. Talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monster. Your monthly furry. Found a less pathetic method to, re to restrain yourself. Not yet. But I do know it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you order coffee with ginger? Yeah, I was expressing the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the to be the remedy. Why don't you use the furry sense the furry sensitive available in the market? I don't trust them. Besides, this that sedative is too general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes, the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming methods is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to. Kinky stuff to soothe themselves during... They're furry. What kind of kinky? Like BDSM. That only happens in porn. What? Whatever. Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know. Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common. But normally, we stick to the vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be brutal doing bondage stuff during the furry. Exactly. So, concluding with your story, how far along are you? in finding the ingredients to the remedy. So far, all I know is this involves ginger and probably something lightly caffeinated, like tea, maybe. You better write, you better write that down. You wouldn't want 
him wrecking havoc, wreaking havoc in your coffee shop. We don't have any tea today, but the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. I'm sorry. I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll be heading out now myself as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So, I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care of your way. Take care on your way home. Hey! Are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys... Kinda remind me of this video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It was a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It was nice to see friendships that grew into unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know. Oh, never mind. You... I was just joking. Please don't do it again. You're really bad at it. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now, I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you around tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be here tomorrow. Night-night. Be careful on your way back. I've already forgotten the voices I've done for the first two people. <laughs> So I'm sorry if all the voices change except for the uh, fairy girl. Stop workplace racial racial profiling. The Orgish workers unite in demand. Welcome. Yo. Cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Just seen a ghost. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw it. I saw uh, Nakomi transforming. We really do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Nakomi friends. I wouldn't say I have. You folks usually use your feminine, your feline form to mute, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, community is a cat. Commuting as a cat sounds more practical than commuting as a human. I 
kinda. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No. Milk and nothing else. Fresh milk and for the lady with a pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on underage girls? I was giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like what what's a young girl like you doing alone at this late? Not a young girl. I'm a grown-up. You can take care of herself. Her... You don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd c call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you, that's for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I walked 13, since I was 13 years old. Definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Er... I don't. Oh my, are you? I'm just saying it. If this is something illegal, or... If you are in danger... Blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously. Never seen me on TV or social media. I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. <laughs> Snob. Part of the broke, part broke but woke movement. I see. You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering many any drinks. What? Too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> He's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop really survive without me? What are you, what are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So, what do you want to order? The usual. I don't know why she reminds me of Jacksepticeye. Your espresso is ready. Hmm. As good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait. Uh, wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you... Rachel... F Florencia? The member of the Super Smiles who just graduated and started her own solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drink milk. I'm serious. You can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, I really do have a lot of unusual customers. This is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit to drink milk nonetheless. Yay! Achievement unlocked! That legitimately unlocked an achievement for me. Um... The achievement is called Achievement Unlocked. <laughs> no, seriously. Why are you here? Well, you know. The usual young folk problems. I had a fight with my father. And so, here I am. Ah, uh, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? 
you don't really need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. Now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad. We got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What's her thoughts on your career choice? She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Your dad knows anything about environmental industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Good evening, Tars. Good evening, girls and girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Frey. Anyways, Tars. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon or honey? Your green tea is ready. Hmm. The ingredients are correct. There's something off. Pardon me? Next time, try switching the ingredients. Understood. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary under patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Tell me, tell me. You sure you want to hear it? Yes. Everything I witnessed was... My salary. Seriously? Yeah, today is payday. And I check the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, and the labor union project, everything is fine though. How can you say it's fine? We got your, we got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area isn't safe? Ain't that strong proof this area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and a place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Uh-huh. Who the hell was that? She just sat there reading, sat there and read. I'm sure that pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're walk, when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyways, where were we? Oh yes. Just what are you doing here, young lady? I'm pretty. It's pretty late, you know. I don't know. Don't have anywhere else to go. This place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wandered into a bar. By your underage, right? Uh, how did you know? You can read minds now, old man. I have a dot around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here. But everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He's a cop. That is exactly his job. Relax, Frey. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know, know it yourself, Ray. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course. 
This is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes around with a discount, right? What? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with the criminals and, and public safety. How should I know to kill someone else's daughter? You should know. You are a father yourself. Oh, right. Guys. You know I can hear you, right? Really? See? Frey? She has good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, miss. Rachel! Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I got in a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whether we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. But as long as we don't get, don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like that before, before it happened. You mean, before your solo career? No, before my mother's passing away. What happened after each fight? Hmm, nothing. We just don't talk about it until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy, but you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to get to know someone, even your own blood. But it was never like that bad when we, when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mother between the two of you. As a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that, now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. As your dad, I... And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second, you said this happens a lot. By the way, but why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait, maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. Usually my job is an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand where you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you... Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. And how did that happen? To be honest... I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even further. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I am an adult. No adult would ever say, I'm an adult. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this, like adults. You don't need to run to be a... Ah, uh, words. You don't need to rush to a decision. 
I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now, now I would recommend just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But you don't have, you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home. Give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So, where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western in the western part of Nico Town. That's quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? Old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Frey? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay. We'll be off then. Thank you, Tars and Frey. Take care of your... Take care on your way home. See you around, Tars. And there they went. Yeah. You can stay longer if you want. <laughs> nah. It's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the riding, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm judging. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can really keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Frey. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know. I might end up like the clipping blood. On the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing though. The coffee shop has had a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. <laughs> I believe it. I bet it is. Okay then. Take care. Take care of yourself. Take care on your way home now. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in today. If you guys are watching on YouTube, please slap that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below if you guys would like to see more of this series. Um, if you guys are and hit that bell to be notified whenever I upload any new videos. If you guys are watching on Twitch, make sure to hit the follow button. Make sure to also hit the bell on Twitch if they have one. I'm not sure. Uh, to get notified of whenever I go live. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.